Welcome back to Coach on the Clock. I'm your host, James McKnight. In studios with me is guest host, Adanya Gabadia. Adanya, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, James. Awesome. Uh, guys, we, we have a lot of things that we want to talk about today. Um, one of the things that we, we're going to um, chat about is some of the, the, the trending topics that's going around the league. Um, Adanya has been um, doing some research, what's, what's out there on Facebook and Twitter. Um, but before we do that, I want to um, welcome you guys to some of our weekly leads. If you're not participating in our weekly leads, please go to our weekly leads and, and, and join some of those um, some of those leagues. We have cash prizes. We have free leagues that you can win cash prizes. Please go to coach uh, coachface.com, um, log into those leagues, play, join our weekly leagues. Um, if you want to shoot some questions over to us, use our hashtag, go to coach OTC, use the hashtag, send us some questions. We'd love to hear from you. I'd love to give you guys some feedback on my per, uh, personal and professional opinion. And let's get in, in, involved in the show. Uh, Donye, tell me what's going on. There was some exciting things in college football and with some exciting things that go, that went on in, in the NFL this week. So let's, let's get into the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. As we can see, our Facebook followers and Twitter followers are talking about Rex Ryan and the New York Jets and what's going on with their coaching staff. They have a horrible start to the season. They're one and four. They lost yesterday, 31 and zero to the Chargers. James, can you give us your professional insight on, on what's going on with the New York Jets coaching staff? Um, I don't know what's going on with the coaching staff, but I know that Rex Ryan is, is, is on the hot seat right now. Um, his team is just not playing good pro football. They're not playing on all phases of the of, of the um, of the team. Their their offense is is in disarray. Their their defense is trying. They're fighting. But yesterday, Philip Rivers controlled the ball. Um, the New York Jets offense was off the field, and I don't think that offensive coordinator um, Marty Mortonwig is calling a good game that's fitting. I I think the game that he's calling is fitting Geno Smith. Um, talent and ability, mm -hmm. but I don't think they have the players to match Geno Smith's athletic ability. Geno can throw the ball down the field. He can make all the throws um, that are that office coordinator asking a young quarterback, but his receivers are not running great routes. They don't fight for the ball once he throws the ball up, um, and that's, that's key for a quarterback. A quarterback wants to know that if he throw the ball up there and give his team, uh, give his uh, receivers an opportunity to make a play, you see Dez Bryant, you see Brandon Marshall with Chicago, you see Megatron in Detroit. These guys go up, they're making plays over the defensive back, and the New York Jets guys are getting knocked down, and they're allowing the, the defensive back to make interceptions, and Geno Smith is, is getting the blame. So it's not all Geno Smith's fault, um, but Coach Marty Marnwig don't need to put him in those situations. They may need to go to a, a, a short passing game, or, or you know, or get their running game up to up to par because they're just bringing the house at Geno and asking this young guy to be the savior. Um, he's not he's not a paid Manny right now. He's not a Tom Brady. Um, let this guy build his confidence, um, throwing some completions, some short routes. Uh, but right now, the way that they have him throwing the ball down the field and then saying it's his fault. Benching them at halftime, that's definitely not the answer. The Jets um, need to, you know, Coach Coach Ryan right now, uh, your, your team is in disarray, and you guys need to come together or this, this season is going to be a loss, and you're going to be the black eye on the NFL this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure our fans out there would definitely appreciate that insight. Well, let's move on to talk about the Cowboys. Um, they were actually, they had a victory yesterday in the fourth quarter. Was it overtime victory? Uh, amazing throw from... From the quarterback, please let's let's, let's highlight some of those well, performance the, keys. Just key like I said, that that you know um, what Geno Smith is the problem with the um, the, the receivers at the, with the New York Jets is Tony Romo's safe haven because he threw the ball up and his big stud receiver Des Bryant went up and made a play. So I think that you know Jason Gary, he's been on a hot seat all all season. They've been on a hot seat in preseason. He's been on a hot seat this season um, when Dallas lost games um, early in the, in the football season. But right now um, they're clicking on all cylinders. They're winning games that last year they would have lost. Um, Tony Romo tweeted out to his fans that you know hey we 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 won on the road. You know, so he's he's letting the Cowboy fans know that, listen, you know, don't just cheer for us when we are home and don't just criticize us when if we lose on the road because they're playing Dallas Cowboys football. The uh, DeMarco Murray is the, is the top running back in the NFL right now. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, that uh, Jason Garrett and, and that, that offensive and, and defensive um, coaching staff have, have come together. They're putting together some great game plans. I know they would like to lead from the beginning, um, but they've been able to stick together and win games in the fourth quarter. Quarter, and I think you're going to see the Dallas Cowboys in the playoff this this um, year coming up. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. 
Um, and also, um, before we get off the show, um, I just want to highlight a coach. You know, one of the coaches that are um, that then I don't think no one in the NFL expected anything um, out of his football team because the hype coming into the year was all Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel this and Johnny Manziel that. First round draft pick, you know, Johnny Manziel. Um, but Mike, Coach Mike Penny um, with the Cleveland Browns, you're doing a very good job, and it's, and it's done without Johnny Manziel because your quarterback, Brian Hoyer, is playing at a high level right now. Um, this kid is the – I call him the cardiac kid because he's, he's keep um, winning games in, in the fourth quarter. He's, he's keeping the, um, your team in there. You got a, a, a no-name cast of uh, receivers that he's playing with. Um, you got a no-name cast of, of running backs. So this guy is going out there under the scrutiny and under the microscope of Johnny Manziel. He's he's kept his poise. He's playing at a high level, and I think Coach Mike Shan, um, Kyle Shanahan is is doing a great job calling the plays and, and allowing this young quarterback to play at an efficient level. So I want to congratulate the Cleveland Browns on another win. You guys are having a uh, you've you've even your um your your record at two and two. Um, you you've lost. Um, two games by about a total of five points, and so you guys are five five points away from being four and zero on your season. So I think that your your future is bright. Keep stay stay in there. Um, you guys are, are are playing at a at a at a high level right now on both on all three phases of the football team. And so Coach Mike Penny, keep it up. You guys looking good. This is Coach on the Clock. I'm James McKnight, and we'll see you guys next time.